Are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some space exploration. Uh, in just a second. Just a second. Uh, okay, come, come on now. You can do it. Slower than expected. Uh, really? Okay, here we go. And of course, the UPS takes a few seconds to catch up as well. All the way back to 20. Um, so we were expanding solar power here. We need a spare 60 gigawatts. Crazy Heather, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Uh, uncomfortably cold, but not that bad. Um, yeah, we need a, uh, we need 60 spare gigawatts just to play with one dimensional anchor. Um, suffice to say, we do not have that kind of power just yet. It looks like we just need another 20. Um, but that would be, uh, seven more blocks like this. Might have to make another trip still. Uh, in fact, I'm sure we will. There's zero scaffolding left up here. And not enough for another block over here. Um, so if we need, like, 20 more blocks... Oh, we can do solar panels up here already. One, two, three, four... Um, we needed another couple of columns, it seems like. Okay. I hear you, it's freezing just about to put the heater on. Indeed. It's been... It's been very dull and, I wouldn't say grey, but like, dark blue. That's the weather today. Um, uh, looks like that's all... no, half of it is in range. Oh, I'm carrying some scaffolding. We might be able to get one more done. Let's go... Scaffolding. Personal supply. Uh, we've got another, what, 1.7k? It's 4,000 to fill this block. I don't think we can fill it on this trip. I'll just go grab what solar panels we do have. Chucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are all of these little hitches we're getting? A spider's building rail? Oh, they are actually. Okay, cool. That means it's temporary. It's not something like a train is repathing every half a second and we actually have to do something about it. Alright, let's go deliver this. We had some sunshine here in Adelaide, but it's still very cold. I imagine it's probably, not that I've checked the weather or anything, uh, like the bomb, but uh, it's probably a bit war uh, a bit colder there than it is here, but I'm not particularly adapted to cold. I don't like it. Uh, 
Alright, so... Yeah, we're definitely not going to fill this one out while we're still here. That's fine. Um, I might just send the player ship back to Nervous Orbit. Oops. And I'll ride the uh, construction ship back home. Come on, bots. There we go. I'll just remove these towel ghosts for the moment, since just having those makes the bots a bit slower to respond to build requests. And before we go, give to me all of the solar panels, please. Can we go faster with the jetpack? Probably. Oh yeah, definitely. Just have to accelerate first. Unfortunate that we can't get a running start. Let's catch up. And down we go. So are they done? No, there's like two, three, four. Oh, there's actually several more solar panels to be placed over here. Because we've got a bot halo over here. Um, why don't we just swap that out? And more of the bots are going to go to the supercharger. And we won't have to wait anywhere near as long. Uh, we got this last solar panel waiting to be placed. Um, so let's see. We've got about 15 gigawatts to go. That's actually five. Five more of these blocks. Um, I won't ride the construction ship back. Um, I'll take the... Oh, I mean the old outposter ship. I'll take the newer, the, uh, newer model back home. But first, let's... Remove this. Might want to keep that one for a second. Nope, we're good. Fantastic. Back to Nervous Orbit. And go. And we can get our construction ship to follow. What's this? Oh, it's another tree. Sacred space tree. Fantastic. I didn't know that we got those around Calidus orbit as well. Back to Nervous orbit with you. And did we finish building the new block? It looks like we did. Fantastic. Um, and we'll just copy these constant combinators over here. That'll summon our trains. A Veldak? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so that is rip our very good ratios for uh, Naquitite production. A Naquim production. Um, it, it has been up until recently very, very consistent for the last hour and a half. Um, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And the amount of Naquitite that we're mining is very, very slightly ahead of this. Um, and the amount that we can support with Vitalic Acid, I think, is kind of similar. Uh, Vitamolunge Bottleneck. But we still want more, so rip rip balance of bottlenecks we need more nice graph i know right but it's all about to go oh i think we just picked up a bunch of naquim ingots you know what we've got enough that i'm not even worried about that at this stage oh wait no i've got an idea um instead of sending them back to the mall We'll have them tiptoe around these robot networks. And we'll have them visit this block, which is going to take the items from their logistic trash slots. And it'll just hold on to the Naquim plate and ingots. Although... I think the ingots might actually still come to here because they're full over here. I could add another shuttle um, for ingots, but I really don't see the need. It's ingots specifically, it's very easy to keep up with, um, and it's not like we're going to need another Naquim plate shuttle to not be bottlenecked on this either. Uh, but that said, we're kind of full on the storage for ingots here. I could send the ingot shuttle back home early. Let's do that. Um, greater than zero? This is not normally the problem that we solve by launching a ship early. Uh, it'll do. It'll be like 30 seconds or less game time before that ship is here. So nothing to worry about. Alright, 20 seconds till we're back at Nervous Orbit. Arcospheres are still looking very good. Uh, what is this? Let's see. There's only 7 or 8. Wait, what? Oh, the average is three, actually. That's excluding the ones that are sitting ready in inputs like this. Um, same goes for over here. If all of our Arcosphere recipes have inputs ready to go... I still don't know why these ones... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I think this self-corrected, actually. Just because we had enough spheres. Um, but I don't know... Oh. No, I, I misread this one. Apparently we do have the Omegas. I still don't know why, when we have a shortage, um, we still had... What is this doing? Oh. Uh, that, that needs a little fix. Um, buffer chest, let's say, here. I 
could fit another chest here if I want to. If we're only getting 25k fluid delivered at a time, that's probably fine. Mm, I feel like this will look a little bit better. And just for consistency's sake, we'll do this over here. Or I could put those constant inputs on the side as well. And then we have six room for six chests over here if there's another five things we end up bringing to this block. I think we could do that. Let's continue this little zigzag pattern over here. Picker Dollies is still one of my favorite mods. It's right up there with, uh, like, even distribution. I'd never want to play without it. Yeah, that's good. So we've got our constant inputs uh, on the sides here, outputs on the sides as well, and the arcospheres are all just up here. That's kind of, that's kind of cleaner, in a way. Okay. Spiders will be here in a few minutes, or less. Um, we've got our solar panels here. We've got scaffolding. Uh, I could bring both of these ships. In fact, I don't see why not. So let's go back to Calidus Orbit. And this one as well. And if I don't reset the... If I don't switch off these uh, constant combinators here, they're going to clamp next to each other. But I think I might just be fine with that, actually. Then again, I want to fill out this bit, so maybe not. Okay, so let's review. Uh, I wonder if I should. I could just do a massive rate calculator box like this. Yeah, that's fine. It's actually just the number of machines that it has to check that makes it take longer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if there were trees and stuff here, it would also be calculating pollution, but there's nothing like that. So it should actually be pretty easy to do it this way. Um, does it... Do we have to worry about fog of war, though? Uh, no. No, we do not. Okay. Great calculator. Uh, 140 Naquitite per second, that's more than I thought we had. Like, that's maybe like 20% more or so than I expected we have here. And we are able to process 158 per second, that's actually pretty good. Um, we'll be needing... 161 Vitalic Acid per second. I'm pretty sure our two blocks here could do that, but we might be short on the actual Vitamelange. 140 each. Um, I'll just remind myself already. Yeah, that's way more than enough. Okay, so we need... Um, uh... 161 Vitalic Acid per second. About 245 Extract per second. Um, we probably have the capacity to do that. Let's see, three times this. 
245 extract per second. Was that actually exactly what we need? 161? 245. 245, it's almost an exact ratio. Uh, so then the question is just, can we supply enough Vitamolange? Morning, morning. What is the big goal for today? Um, I'm pushing even more Nacrotite throughput a little bit. Uh, I want to get... Well, we're definitely going to get this done today. Um, we're getting another, like, 15 gigawatts of power uh, over here so that we can play with the dimensional anchor. I have no idea what that is actually going to entail, necessarily. Of course, we have our hunches. Um, but yeah, it is an obscene amount of solar panels that we need to support this. Um, we could, of course, make Naquium solar panels, but to just double Holmium solar panels, uh, it's kind of on the expensive side. Also, upgrade planners, uh, the bots are pretty unresponsive with those. Um, but Holmium is like, you know, everything that goes into this is basically free compared to Naquium. So I don't mind building a bigger solar array instead. Um, maybe if we end up having to build anchors at other suns, uh, we'll start producing aquium solar panels at scale. Um, but yeah, we were just trying to figure out if we're actually caught, uh, mining Vidamolange fast enough to keep up with all this. Uh, and I think just judging by the fact that this part's empty right now, we can safely conclude that we are not. Although, judging by the fact that five out of six of our half blocks, um, producing nuggets... Um, have the inputs saturated for now. We're probably closer than I expected. So let's see. 600 and... Well, let's go per minute. Uh, 36.8k Vitamolange nuggets per minute. What, what have we actually been producing? Uh, very consistently, 26k. So, we do need a significant bump in Vidomelange production uh, if we're going to keep up with our new target for Nacrotite. Um, I think I might just put this one over here. Oh wait, let's start with some scaffolding, so we can put down a supercharger. Maybe I should make a bigger construction ship that has super ch uh, a regular roboport surrounded by superchargers. But half the... Uh, half of the issue with designing this one was so that it would fit in the existing block here. We'll have to make a new one if we're going to make our final iteration on the construction ship. Uh, but yeah, let's start with this. And I'll take some scaffolding over this way. Get this block done myself. Where are my bots? Roboports, check. Bots, check. Sca oh, I forgot I removed the uh, ghosts here. Hey, hey. 
El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Lenarian, good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I don't think we're going to need another Nacrotite mine to push the bottleneck for a little while. We need more Vitamelange. And this is going to kind of overwhelm our Robopods, isn't it? What if we add more Robopods? Um, hopefully the bots can recharge twice as fast. What's our max consumption from these? 4 megawatts each. 8 megawatts. And we can do 3 megawatts from the portable fusion reactors. Look at that battery charge go. Um, but it does get things done faster up to a point. Maybe I should swap out more of the legs and have even more jetpacks. It's actually really fast. I should do more of this personally. There's only so far that we can go with the uh, ships. I wonder if... Uh, there's a mod that uh, deploys Spidertrons, um, and it can put things in their power armor grid for you. I wonder if we could also put the spiders back in storage so that they uh, don't count towards the, um, the container stress and hull stress for the ship, so we could have a construction ship with a bunch of spiders in it, and then when it gets there, it deploys them. Um, and then logistic bots can quickly fill their inventory because the range is so short. Um, and then the spiders can walk over nice and close to what they're building. That might be good. Oh yeah, we need to put cubes here. Uh, stack size 8. 384 is what we can fit here. And... I th think I remember there's a way... Yeah, we can actually do it that way to get the filter. Alright, cool. I don't think we need the construction spiders here for a minute. Probably. I could just leave them between the mall and here, since I know they are, like, fully resupplied right now. I don't think you can put the spiders back into storage, but the spiders with their grids filled by equipment gantries are still items in inventory. So you could certainly deploy them like that, maybe not just automatically redeploy. Fair enough. Oh, and I forgot to get the next construction ship to get started. Uh, I need to measure this first. Right about here, perhaps. And supercharger, right about here. Anchor.
Wait, can I like shift with these? No, not as ghosts. I'll just estimate how many of those we need. Uh, so we need a supercharger. And then as soon as that's on its way to being built. Start with the scaffolding. We'll also need some coming up this way. This is probably more than enough. But that's fine. Look at that lovely pattern. Speaking of... Let's get some solar panels. I've still got some scaffolding. Let's bring it up here. Close are we to powering this thing? Uh, about eleven gigawatts to go. So three more, three more squares of this, I think. Maybe I miscalculated how many squares I need. Two hundred and fifty-five point times twelve point one megawatts. It is two five five in one of these blocks. Yes. Yes. Is. 3 gigawatts, almost exactly. It's less than 3.1 anyway. Uh, okay, bots, you don't need to do that last little bit. There we go. bring this construction ship over here after that. Okay, so how much Vitamalange are we getting? We can practically pretend that all of it comes from here. Uh, 356 core fragments per second. 356 core fragments. And then Prod 6 modules. Uh, 356. That's almost exact. Uh, 346 of it in my lunch per second. And to support all of this, we would need... Only 196 per second? Wait, what? If that's the case, then why isn't this saturated? Let's try that again. 356... Core fragments per second gives us 346 uh, vitamolange per second. All six of... well, all, all three of these blocks. Turning vitamolange into nuggets. Only costs us 200 per second. So why is this station... Oh. Oh, well then, that that would probably be why. 
Um, I thought I, sh I should have realized it was a bit odd how consistently, how saturated all of these other ones were, and this one was completely empty. Um, I guess I didn't look closely enough. But we've actually already got... We've actually already got the Vitamelange to support um, all four of these blocks making Naquim ingots. Uh, so now our bottleneck actually is uh, Naquitite, and not by very much. If we just make another small Naquitite mine... Um, it's going to push it back to being saturated all the way down. Very cool. Um, so that said, let's find an idle construction ship. Perfect. This one was actually waiting its turn to anchor here. Uh, why don't I just... Uh, storage chest and go. Fantastic. Um, so I think as usual first we're going to go to Hankerus. Oh, we need to remove some stuff over here. Whoops. Uh, we've actually got just under... no, we've got 10 gigawatts to spare. So I could definitely just add another one of these here. Do we have them in storage? We've got everything except for the actual beam emitter. Uh, so this one is also going to be aimed at one of these... Uh, one of these energy beam receivers. This one still hasn't re reached 5000 degrees. Um, but considering how consistently our ships are stopped here, um, it might not actually be a problem. I suppose another way you could go about this is just don't even bother having a power plant at the mine, um, like a permanent power plant that is, um, but you just have to make sure, uh, you have to make absolutely sure there's always a ship waiting um, whoops, whoops, whoops. Stardust. This one's waiting at Nalvis. Nalvis. And there's only one ship waiting uh, to park at Stardust right now. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I particularly like that idea. Um... We either need too many ships, or we have to cut it too close to leaving one of these places without power. Um, but you could do it that way. I mean, I guess we did do it that way for the first one. There's just, with ion ships uh, and the distance that we have to cover, there's just way too many big gaps where we're not mining Naquitite here. Oh, and I completely discounted... Whoops. Uh, that's the wrong surface. But I see Naquitite, I think. It's such a small amount. Well, it's a small patch anyway. Uh, let's delete that surface. Uh, yeah, what's our rate from here? It's like 6 per second, and that's if we constantly had a ship here, which we don't. We can pretty much discount that. Um, did I send the ship yet? I don't think I did. It's still being emptied. As soon as this is done, I want to send it to Hankerous Orbit. Um, and I should probably donate some beam emitters so that we can add that remotely later on. Let's remove this, and add one of these, and then one of these. Lock 
lunch. I think uh, probably about here. Build that, please. And that. And that. And that. And oh god, they're all going to build scaffolding already. Whoops. Well, it won't be as bad as it could be, because they do have the supercharger to connect to. The moment that I've got these superchargers built, um, I might just do one big order for scaffolding. And then stop paying attention to it for a while. Uh, I could also speed things up a bit by doing this myself. Let's go. And probably don't need the one down here. No, I'm sure we don't, actually. Let me in. Alright, that can go there. And it looks like these are all in place as well. Um, just to confirm, we've got 29,000 scaffolding. Uh, 20... yeah, we've got enough. It's about 4,000 per block. I think it's exactly 4096. Uh, what's the size of this thing? 64 by 64. Yeah, 4096. So that's going to be a lot of bot jobs, but we've got superchargers all the way across. Shouldn't be too difficult for them. Let's focus on... I'm really surprised, actually, after adding adding this here and saying, okay, where's the bottleneck going to be now? Just tracing it all the way and finding... No, we've actually got almost exactly what we need uh, and a little bit more for Vitamalange. Very nice. Is there a universe? I don't think there's a world where we need another drop-off for the big ships. There's... there were two waiting for their turn to land earlier at Nalvis, and there's currently zero. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure if there's ever, z if there's ever no queue, then we can probably conclude that we're not going to be stuck just waiting with only two landing places. Nice. So why aren't we getting Nexus if we've got so much throughput of Naquium? Well, we don't have enough to saturate this all the time just yet. Uh, but we actually probably kind of will. If all of our Naquium plate comes here, this will actually be saturated. Um, although there's other places that it needs to go. Um, let's see, Nexus is Deep Space Science Pack 3, which is these catalogs here. I think we were also short on something else, though. 
Deep Space Science Pack 2. It's actually Naquium Cubes. Um, so in other words, Naquium. Of course. Um, I could definitely drop down the provide threshold over here. I think 20 stacks is actually... Oh, I didn't mean to go down to 4. 20 stacks is probably low enough, or high enough. Uh, are our Arcosphere's okay? We're up. We're uh, we're full of Lambda Phi again. So we're doing some inverting. Uh, most of, literally all of these recipes are swapping Arcosphere's right now. Hmm. Maybe we should go get Arcosphere's from somewhere new. The obvious choice is Melancholia. We kind of want to go there for Naquium anyway. Maybe we could make a outpost uh, that's going to do the rocket silo stuff as well as provide Naquium. What's the total count of spheres in circulation? Um, we've got... So this is not counting the ones that are in requester chests that are waiting to be uh, flipped, um, or the ones that are in these machines. How did this happen? How, how, how did this happen? Zeta, Theta, Epsilon, Phi, Gamma, Omega. Zeta, Theta, Epsilon, Phi, Gamma, Omega. Read the chest contents. Request one of each. Constant Combinator says one of each. Everything has to equal two. So how did we get this imbalanced? Uh, I truly do not understand. And we saw this was... I had a two of everything earlier today. Are we reading contents from all of these? Yes. I don't think it would have got inserted if we didn't. It's very strange. Um, yeah, because we're only reading the Arcospheres that are in storage here, uh, it's a bit of an estimate. We've got... Over 50 that are in storage. Um, and the requester chests. The requester chests. Uh, we, we have requester chests as opposed to buffer chests for the inputs for all of the folding and inverting. So we've actually got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, plus 8, 24, plus 3 times 8. Um. So 48. There's 48 Arcospheres um, just waiting to be flipped at any time. Plus about f a bit more than 50, maybe 60. Yeah, we've got over 100 Arcospheres. Meowning, Sydney Kenson von Ice-T. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are the stack limits on all inserters correct? Uh, it doesn't matter because, yeah, they only stack to one. So, I, I could change this to anything, it wouldn't make a difference. It also means the bots don't oversupply Arcospheres, which is... Considering how rare they are, I should hope not. How much have we got of each type of data? We're closing in on the maximum for space dilation data in storage. We've got hardly any folding. Closing in on the maximum for injection. We've got more than the maximum? Wait, what? There's supposed to be only 2,000. 
Oh. Oh, I I I forgot. Twenty stacks of fifty is one thousand, not two thousand. I'm glad we were checking this. Yeah, so we actually don't need to make any um we don't need to make any more whopping data for a while. You wanted to call me Kitty Sydney. Wait, what? No? I'm innocent. Still don't know how this happens. Oh, I wanted to put like a single, at least one construction bot here as well so that we could like empty this. It seems to work everywhere else as well. Like in all of our well, there was a problem here, but I fixed it. It was the wrong... Uh, I was supposed to put one, not zero, on, for example, Arcosphere Zeta. And then we say everything has to equal three. So we have two of these, one of these, and this has to be true. One, two, two, and two on the constant combinators to make up the difference. Because of the way the everything signal works. Um, but since I fixed that, I haven't seen any wasted inputs over here in all of our in all of our arcosphere folding and inverting i haven't seen a single wasted input for a while and yet we're using the exact same logic here signal of value 1 for each of these inputs, and then each goes into their own chest, and then when everything equals 2, we input them. I, I don't understand how only up here doesn't seem to necessarily work. The only thing I could think of and this is incredibly unlikely, but it would have to happen eventually. But it would it would be so unlikely that we shouldn't expect to have seen it by now. Is no, I don't think that would happen. If we somehow met the condition to swing the inserters, and then a bot took away one of these because it's in a buffer chest. I I, I don't think that can happen. So, like, the window for that would be either, like, one frame or zero frames. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, but, hey, at least it's... At least it's all working. Whenever we see these bots in motion, we know it's probably okay. We're back to several things being above average. By the way, happy 4th of July for everybody who cares about that. You read my meowing and were like, hello, kid. <laughs> Did I, though? I'm, I'm sure there's no evidence that will remain on the internet for posterity. Backing up that claim. Oh wow, it's July, indeed. Time over these days. Spadge's channel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, I was going to send this construction ship to, what is it called again? Anchorus. Anchorus orbit. Half the year already gone. Oh. It'll all be over soon.
Okay. Uh, so what else are we doing right now? We really are waiting on some research to do some more cool stuff. I could consider antimatter reactors. Um, they're really wasteful, but at the same time, we're producing antimatter really easily. Just look at social media, the big companies have already restored their non-rainbow icons, yeah. What else can we do in the meantime? Why don't we churn out some zone discovery? Gotta catch them all. Asteroid belt. Mirage. It is kind of far away. Iron Bite Meteors. Avernus. Cryonite, far away, don't care. I gone. Sort of far, really small, Holmanite. More dread. Vita meteors, uranium, kind of far ish, really small. Wild? Wilder? Vitamelange, 9000. We've already got two really good candidates for Vitamelange that we're clearing out. Oh, it's really close. Um, I don't think it's as close. It's in the Electra system. Isn't that one of the two systems we were already looking at for Vitamelange? It is. And we hadn't found we haven't found this thing yet. 100% by the threat, 9,000 radius. Yikes. Yeah, they can keep it. Uh, what else? Akerti. Is not very remarkable. Nice solar, though. That's true. That was a quick line of research? Yeah. We've got a bunch of uh, accumulated science in this block that we can just churn through whenever we want. Doop doop. Karura. Uh, relatively close, small moon. Gige? Huge uranium planet. Kind of close. Uh, 3% biter threat as well. If we ever need uranium again, uh, that might actually be where we go. Although, even with 3% bite a threat, it could take a while to clear it. Nike? Vitamelange, kind of far, pretty small. Nevis. Is not too exciting either. Vox Nova. Really small stone planet. Maximum bite a threat. And that's it for now. Let's do another another set. I really do want to find the last zone before this playthrough is over. A a Ayakos? Vitamelange. Uh, Mid-range. 
a little bit far. Claymore. Is... Kind of far away. Indari? Whoops. Uh, relatively close. Tiny moon stone. Rockenha. Is waterless, Holmanite. Uh, not very big. Relatively close. Not many biters. Sandro is kind of far, mid range, iron, not a whole lot of biters. Gapleon far away, small crinite moon, and Uncree. Look into what I do today. Wish you a better one. Uh, okay. Take care, Sydney. Nalvis. Uh, 150k Delta V from Nalvis. Almanite, kind of small. Alright. What else can we research? We could probably knock out antimatter reactor pretty easily. Character movement speed 10% might be a nice little bit of quality of life. Inventory slots. Let's do that. Alright. Oh, we've actually got our... Scaffolding done already. This might be it. We can start playing with the dimensional anchor in a minute. Uh, why are these bots going all the way up here? Probably because of the order that the ghosts were added. Definitely getting the Strength 5 upgrade done right away. How many, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? How many science packs are we requesting here? 2,000 at a time. We could bump that up a lot if we want to, but I don't really see the need. So we should be able to get through both of those researches with what was already accumulated here. Uh, why don't I lend a hand here? Did we actually not bring enough solar panels? No, there should have been more solar panels than we need for the scaffolding. Nice. We could do the final life support, but honestly, it's like... Uh, plus... Plus 800% efficiency versus plus... 400% efficiency. Either way, we get many hours from one stack of life support. I never did fit. Oh, it's this research. I guess we could go for prod nines. 
don't really want to. I don't know, we could make a handful of prog nines and just put them into Naquium. We need, I think it's nine prod sixes, times three, times three, times th it's three. No, it's 27. Uh, 27 prod sixes, roughly, to make one prod nine. More than half a stack of productivity sixes goes into one productivity nine. And the time and resources associated with that. It's kind of bonkers. Alright, how much power do we have? Uh, we definitely have 60 gigawatts to spare. Nice. So, now what? Uses a star's gravity well as a stabilizing point for a spatial anomaly. That's weird, the electricity thing isn't charging up. It keeps disappearing. It just gets to like 5% of its charge and then vanishes. Does it need time before it Low power? Uh, What? SE.6 changes the module cost multiplier from 3 to 2, but additional resources are more varied, kind of complicating things. That sounds delightful. And considering that this autocrafter completely solves the complexity of it, we, we could make exponentially more high-tier modules with this. Just don't tell me that, um, that we need fluids. Like, different fluids for different tiers of modules. That would be a little bit upsetting. So, how long before... How long before this thing is gonna work? We've got the power, but it says it's on low power, and the electrical charge keeps bottoming out. Uh, this is not the outcome I was expecting. I thought there was going to be something obvious uh, to do with this, or it was going to power up and then nothing, apparently. We have to figure it out, but this is not within expectations. Uh, I don't suppose there's anything in the Informatron? I won't say that different tiers need different fluids. Uh-oh. Energy beaming. What about archaeology? I don't think that has anything to do with it. Exploration journal. Hmm. I have no clue. I can only guess that if I run this for long enough, Something's going to change? Wait. Our accumulator charge is going up, right? Yeah, 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 it is. Um... 
I guess we'll check in on this later. Not much else to... to do or say about it. Alright, let's keep going with... deconstructing... Oh! Whoa, 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 don't... Don't remove the floor from under the spiders, please. So apparently there's no containers left here, but the bots are all hovering. Uh, I guess that means we can just deconstruct all of this. Should I leave the old, like, solar panels from and the radar construction pylon from the original satellite? No, it must all go. We must forget the past. Oh no. I don't know about these bots though. I might have to manually come over here myself just to rescue them. What if I put down... Well, everything's going to go into the trash slots anyway. I could bring the construction up, spiders up here, put down a robopod and see if they do something. Oh, and there's this stuff. And that's actually pretty much the end of it. We actually removed all the... Oh, wait, there's stuff here. This is empty now. This is empty now. Fantastic. All of these are empty now, except for the light oil. I suppose I can leave the light oil thing here. Let's see if it gets emptied. Can we crank up the priority? We've already done that. And the provide threshold is only 50. Apparently there's no demand for light oil in space. Uh, which makes it a bit ironic that I dedicated a tanker to it. If there really is nothing in space asking for light oil, uh, doesn't Thermo fluid? No, oh, that's heavy oil. Light oil. Blank observation frames. And that's literally it. Uh, blank observation frames. Here they are. This is actually a build from before we had beacons here. But they're quite fast, so no real need to update that. We can clearly fit another 100k light oil here. Um, so why don't we get a train to pick some of that up. And I think... If we just add some storage here, at least temporarily. We can drain all of that without wasting a drop. Does it make sense to have a um, condenser turbine, uh, a high temp turbine generator set up here and receive beamed power instead of just have solar panels? I guess it, 
if solar panels have a non-zero EPS cost, it's actually hard. Um, I mean, the, the turbine generators here obviously have a non-zero UPS cost, but there's so few of them. One gigawatt per high temp turbine generator. And we've got like almost three times as many solar panels here to do the same job as a solar panel uh, at Calidus Orbit. Ah, uh, yes, temporary storage, indeed. Let's remove that. And remove that. And can probably go ahead and remove those. The bots should be able to reach all of these. It still claims there's low power. No way to condense solar panels into higher tiers. Um, we've only got tier 2s, basically. And the Naquim solar panels require an entire cube to upgrade the flat solar panel tier 2. And for that, it only doubles it. Game should logic-wise solar panels and accumulators in the same network should get combined into a single entity? That would make sense. As long as there isn't a change in the electric network. Okay. Nice big rectangle. And we've still got 20 gigawatts to spare. Uh, meanwhile, on Nalvis, I've definitely been neglecting deconstruction gang over here. Looks like the bots have done their job, and they can carry all of this home now. Should I remove this old rail? Probably. doesn't actually go anywhere anymore. So, yes. Don't cliff explode, there's no need. Remember this mine? Nostalgia. Had to defend that from biters for ages. And down here. I would add cliffs to the blacklist for this thing, but uh, I think it's like our deconstruction planner for a crashed ship. We have to add many different entities. I can't be bothered. We can... Cliff. Oh, it's kind of the other way around, actually. We can easily blacklist cliff, but... There's a tree slash rocks only button, but if we want to have like cliff and trees, we have to add every single type of tree in here. That's a little bit of a hassle. Of course, it would be a nice little bit of quality of life after it's done. I 
any signals up here? No. Nope. Where are these cliffs that you're trying to explode? Oh, it was right at the end. That's probably enough for the moment. Missed a bunch of cliffs there. Okay. Hello, have you already upgraded to SE.6? Nope, won't be doing that till the next playthrough. Do these train lines cause UPS lag or is it just cleaning up? Uh, I'm sure they cost a little bit UPS wise. Maybe, depending on how the pathing is done. Um, but it's really just clean up in general. It's not going to be that big of an impact from this. Uh, Vojtikaz. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we done here? I think we're done here. And clean up that. And I guess we'll just leave our dimensional anchor placement restriction close star orbit. Yeah, so this is the only place we can build it. Stabilizing point for a spatial anomaly. It doesn't seem to be working. What if I... I don't suppose it's like added an anomaly that we can target with a ship or something. Um, like if we send this thing at Calidus orbit, it's not going to be any different. Not sure. Let's go back to Nalvis orbit. And now for orbit. We're not going to get the same kind of behavior as if we're leaving an anomaly right now. Doesn't seem that way. Yeah, I'm actually completely clueless as to what else we need to do with this. Um... Mousing over it, looking the... It says low power, the electricity charge isn't charging up. It would seem that it's not working. But we've clearly got enough electricity for it. We could pay uh, Foenestra a visit and see if anything's changed. In fact, why don't we go there with our construction ship now? Um... Do we have... I know we do have some biochemical facilities because I'm carrying them. Oh, we don't have that much scaffolding though. Let's go to Nalvis Orbit first. Maybe it's like a cannon with a baseline charge and an initial powering up charge. Yeah, I mean, it's got a big electric... It's got one terajoule of energy capacity. So I would just expect that electricity bar down the bottom to take a little while to charge up, just like a RoboPort. Um, it claims it's consuming zero watts right now. Uh, I beg to differ. It's actually 60 gigawatts. Where is the anchor located? Calidus orbit, our nearest, uh, our home star. 
It's discharging now? Yeah, it's, uh... It just keeps, like, not charging up. So I'm wondering if we go to Foenestra. I want to take some stuff there for building, but... Uh, maybe, maybe if we power this thing... We can select this as a destination now or something. I have my doubts. What was the solar transmission efficiency to Foenestra? Like 10% or something? Do we have a spare beam here? I forgot. We've definitely got a spare beam emitter. Let's just put this down here. I'd actually fit it this way. Um, okay. Put this here, please. Maybe it's similar to the anchors. Uh, I don't... It doesn't say anything like that. Do we have bots in motion here? No. Oh, it's out of range. Uh, don't tell me we don't have a robopod to put down, do we? Hmm. Okay. Let's just throw one of these. This is actually where a resupply ship parks. Um, but we could put one down just for a quick experiment. I should have put it down. I could move this robopod. Except I don't see where we can fit it. That would help. Uh, yeah, let's point this at Boanestra. Transmission efficiency 0.34%. So, not a whole lot, but at least we can get some power over there just to keep things active. Do we even need media defenses at Foenestra? It'd be nice if we don't. I see Veldek in here not typing. Is he asleep or in a meeting? Who knows? Uh, Veldek did say hi earlier. West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, once we get our scaffolding and stuff replaced... Uh, I think we will visit Foenestra. Playing SE seems good to me. Alright, so we now have uh, four of these sets of furnaces making Nequim ingots. Uh, consistently, it would seem. Or, I think we're probably very, very slowly running out of uh, Naquitite um, with our current setup. What else can we research? What the hell? Why don't we make 50 Naquium cubes. That's a good reason. Output 400 megawatts as opposed to 40. It's 10 times a nuclear reactor. Um, but the fuel density is way... It's way less than 10 times more. We get 8 gigajoules of fuel from a uranium fuel cell. 
Um, and where is it? Uh, we only get 20 gigajoules from an antimatter canister. So, two and a half times as much energy per item, and it stacks the same. Two and a half times as much energy consumed ten times faster. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some fuel management on these things. I got automated thank you email? What for? There was a fancy dinner and gift card. Good grief. Is there a tech higher than antimatter? Uh, for energy? Not really. Um, everything... Everything is still turning heat into steam. Uh, into turning turbines. We've got high temp turbine generators. We've had those for a while. We can run them on uh, beamed power. And we can also, if we really want to, run them on paying electricity uh, to boil steam at 5,000 degrees. Um, Antimatter... Uh, nuclear reactors only go to a thousand degrees, so we can't use high temp turbine generators with those. Um, so antimatter is basically this, but hotter. Yeah, you'd think the antimatter canisters would contain a lot more energy. Um, and considering how little uh, we're going to need to run at Fonestra, it's probably all the more reason it would be easy to just... Where's our other ship? Didn't we send a construction ship back here? There were... Yeah, there were two construction ships. Where's the other one? This one is Destination Narvis Orbit. Oh, I forgot to do this. That's why. The uh, target clamp signals. All right, then. What priority have I set for these things? I'm pretty sure I've set the priority fairly high to make cubes. Uh, and this is good. Cube drop-offs, we've got... Normal priority on the science. Uh, and this one is also normal priority, actually. Do we have... Oh, it's over here. Super high priority. This is consuming all of our cubes. Making uh, time-space anomaly data, which was by far the most difficult to get enough for tier 2... Uh, for tier 2 deep space science. But we need Naquim cubes for tier 2 deep space science anyway, so... Let's knock that off for now. I don't think anything else uh, is requesting Naquim cubes. Let's see. Now this orbit. Uh, there's actually one train in motion right now. Oh, can I... Wait, what? I selected it, but I have no idea where it is. How can I jump to it? Um...
LTN. I can select the station. But how to find it? So the mole is requesting 1.2k. Priority very high. Uh, this thing... Wait, didn't I just change that? Yeah, it hasn't updated yet. It's saying that there's a super high request priority on this station. Refresh. That's weird. If I... do this again? It still thinks there's a super high priority on this station. Maybe LTN doesn't look at this again until it schedules it or something. Or maybe it's actually just the LTN manager mod that isn't refreshing it. Uh, so we've got this sushi place. We've got, I don't even remember where that is. We've got the mall. We've got science. Wait, provided slash requested. Oh yeah, no, this is the Arcosphere place. This is science. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Shift open station on map. There we go. That's good. Uh, so this place is also requesting cubes. Hello? Uh, I think I'll bump up the priority here a little bit then. What is happening here? Oh. Naquim processors. Do Naquim processors go into tier 4 deep space science? Yes, they do. So they should be here. And I haven't updated that part yet. Whoops. Uh, so we need extended catalog, of course, Naquim processor. Tier 1 catalog is already here, and that goes over here. So extended catalog, that should be Deep Space 4. Deep Space extended catalog goes here. And... Queen processor... Goes here, and I need to update these as well. So it'll unload evenly. I guess we don't need stack inserters for those ones, but I can hardly be bothered to change them. And that will let this these two trains do their thing as well. to mention this Naquim plate, actually. And this Naquim plate, actually. Okay. Um, I think all of these should be priority 10. Yes, good. I 
I might even... I might even drop the... I can't really drop the priority on this one. Too many other things depend on it. We can consume 38.4 plate per second. At peak we can produce... Uh, 51 per second. It might be time to shift that bottleneck there. Wait a sec. That doesn't look quite right. In fact, why don't we just get ahead of this? It's only a handful of machines. Uh, Philip B, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's just put as many of these down as we can fit. It's always cubes that we're waiting on these days. Why are there two... Oh, I see. Uh, one, two, one, two, and one. Just for the consistency of the look, we'll... Actually, no. Let's put this over here. No need for the extra belt. Fantastic. Uh, let's see, 14 machines, uh, only consumes 90 particle stream per second, and two belts of Naquium plate, which is exactly what we've got. Cool. The things that are happening in this game are so far beyond my brain that I love it, indeed. Space Exploration mod adds a lot to the game, to say the least. Where are our deconstruction spiders on the ground? Oh, didn't give them enough orders. Wait, yes I did. Uh, their bots are a bit full, let's send them back. For the moment. You might have missed output for the new machines. Uh, this is true. I actually know that I missed it now that you mention it. One, two, one, two, and one. Actually, I guess that can go down here. Uh, and we need the spiders to come back for just a moment. 
also, is this off center? No, I think that's actually correct. It looks a little bit weird because of the way it shows the bigger particle stream icon. What is this? I wasn't actually expecting to find a problem like that. Glad we had a look at it. So what's our max rate of Nequim cubes? Uh, a whopping 5.6 per second. Wow. This is more than enough to consume all of the Nequim plate that we can produce, but still. Alright. I think we're good now. I see motion. Fantastic. So Pulsniak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scritcher, welcome, welcome also. Alright, we've finished loading this stuff up. Uh, let's just find out the hard way if we didn't load up everything that we want to take to Foenestra. Seems good. And... I think now might be a good time to take a little break. Kind of just waiting on a few things. Uh, I'm sure there's a construction ship around orbit somewhere that I've forgotten has a job to do. Let's see. Oh yeah, these two beams are clearing out one of our best Vitamelange candidate, actually. How much scaffolding do you have left? Not really enough to add another block. Uh, may as well come back to Nalvis Orbit then. And... This one is at Hankerous Orbit. We may as well... Well, no, I have to clear this out anyway. Let me just measure this. Then we'll add some 4x4 four four scaffolding here. And get rid of this old stuff. Actually, no. I think what I want to do here is I'll lay out everything that we need to build all of this in one go. And then... Once we queue all of that up... Is that 4x4? Four yeah, it is. Uh, once we queue all of that up, take a break, do some words on stream. Actually, I did leave enough room, didn't I? Yeah, definitely. Beldak heard that. Uh, why don't I queue up 
quiet while this is happening. Taking its sweet time. Okay. Copy link. Fantastic. How many bots do we have here? Like 150. That's fine. You are already building the last supercharger, as are you. Cool. So we can line this up now. And fire and forget. Until it's done. Cool. Alright. In about 30 seconds, we're going to start some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Have fun.
Okay. Let's pause that for now. What are you up to? Level 9. Next time it gets interesting. Let's continue with some space exploration. And I'm surprised we're not at Foenestra already, actually. 12 minutes? Oh, we... Yeah. These construction ships slow down when... They refresh their nuclear fuel for some reason. Um, I'm actually... Horizon Effect, thank you very much for the 10 months. Much appreciated. Fantastic, indeed. It really is fantastic, thank you. Where is the timeout Veldak option? Uh, I don't think there'll ever be a timeout, timeout Veldak option. Name in base? Sure. Uh, so we're going, we're going T-H-E. Do we have a T-H-E somewhere already? I don't think we do. T... Well, we can steal an I. Make a T. Does this fit here? We're going to find out. H-E... W... E-S? D... U... D E. And is that going to be powered? Not just yet. What is the I for? Uh... This. Are there enemies in space because of the lasers firing? Uh, yes, the enemies are called asteroids. Um, so you can actually see it, if you look at the map view, you can see a bunch of red blips coming in. In fact, it shows up in our kills. Uh, this one, this laser turret at the front has 11,758 kills. And if we point here, we see that a large number of spaceships are engaged with the enemy right now. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the spaceship names. Um, just Spaceship 28, for example. I guess that's the name of the surface that it's happening on. Icky Chains? Easy Chains? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you show the total kill counts? Oh, yeah. Kills all time, uh, 24 million small asteroids, 3.4 million medium asteroids, and I guess we haven't seen any large asteroids yet. Oh, we have. 39, actually. Oh yeah, I, I, I think I was thinking the large ones were mediums. Um, ever since we upgraded our haulers... Uh, this design was for under 1,000 hull stress, but because the chests add so much, it's very easy to just add chests. Um, but even though these things are going slower, uh, ever since we got the container stress up above 1,000, or at least I'm guessing 1,000 is where it starts. It's somewhere in this range in any case. Um, we started seeing some really, well, some large asteroids, technically, um, appear sometimes. Um, that's why we had to upgrade these to have double shields. The single shields and the lasers that we had were able to hold off the large asteroids almost all of the time, uh, but not quite.
Seek Mabin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hello to you too. 540 small asteroids per minute. That's what the UP. That's where the UPS is going. Uh, maybe. It's possible. If it's that much of an impact, even though these enemies are literally just like moving in a direction, and there's like no AI to them. Um. That's all the more reason to have fewer and larger ships. Plot twist asteroids that reach the ground spawn biters that can take over the world slash moon slash orbit. Yes. Mazzle Fazzle. It does happen on uh, planets that have biter meteors. Like this one. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So, here we are at Poenestra. Um, wow. The ship is bigger than I thought it was compared to the giant wedding ring. Let's bring it all the way back here. And we'll add... Well, no, we've already got all the construction range we need here. Uh, let me just personally grab a bunch of scaffolding, actually. That'll be a bit quicker. Don't trash it. I said don't trash it. Good bots. And... Uh, scaffolding. That's not the scaffold I'm looking for. How about this? I'm sure it won't matter if we put scaffolding behind this thing. Alright, so how much power does this need? Uh, let's just put this here. Platform power, 0 watts. Max consumption, 10 gigawatts. Uh, do we have 10 gigawatts to spare here? I think we do. Uh, we kind of don't, actually. Rip accumulator charge. So first thing, I suppose, is to put down a power plant. Um, I'd like one of these. This this prob this is probably too close. Let's uh let's go down a bit further here. And we need some kind of fluid input output here, apparently. Uh it does seem to suggest it would like some thermo fluid. But for now let's just set up some power. What is the ring thing? That's what we're hoping to figure out. And hopefully it's not schmuck bait, um, because there's a giant wrecked ship nearby. So taking their sweet time placing this. It's a wedding ring for giant space creatures. Clearly. Okay. Probably would have been good to put down a supercharger first. Alright, so I want this exactly in the middle. 
I imagine this will be enough space to do whatever we need to do to support the giant ring. Um, I guess it doesn't matter where... where we do this. Let's remove that for now. Uh, I would like to have enough room to expand that if I want to. Let's get another construction ship to visit Calidus orbit again. Stargate flashbacks, indeed. I like Vulcanite, Vulcanite smelting with Prod9 modules. For each 8 ores it gives me 12 plates, and 12 plates more for productivity. So it's always 2 stack inserter swings. Nice. Yeah, I did notice that um, exactly uh, exactly five of these would be... Jeez. Oh, Pardon me. Uh, five of these would be exactly 100% bonus productivity. Lines up very, very neatly. Uh, Alright, so we want... Well, I guess I have to wait for the construction ship to get to Calidus orbit now. Because I didn't um, put enough Roboports there earlier. It's only going to be a couple of minutes, game time. Uh, what else are we doing? Back at Hankerus. It looks like our construction ship is... Oh yeah, that's right. I already I laid out all of this at once so that we wouldn't have to give it as much attention. It is taking its sweet time though. But yeah, once we expand this out, um, we'll add another beam that can... So we can add another mine for Nequitite. I would say so that we can stay ahead of that, but it's not as if we've caught up so that we have a nice flow of Nequitite everywhere. Um, can we continue this research, perhaps? Probably not just yet. Nope. We're looking for tier 3 deep space science. We got our cubes at least. Oh, we are getting tier 3 science. Fantastic. Just not enough to trigger a delivery just yet. We're looking for about... 500 of these, considering productivity bonuses, to finish that research. So, yeah, the next the next delivery will finish that. Um, Alright, so pylon substations. That's going to power that thing. Good. Uh, I forgot to bring anything that could make us thermofluid to see if we can put it in here. Combinator attachment. Fascinating. Why don't we see if it's giving us a signal of any kind? It is not. Still not seeing what exactly we can do with this. It's got power. And I imagine the dimensional anchor might have something to do with it. The dimensional anchor has power. But it is acting as if it doesn't. 
Um, anchor is like zero, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of stumped to be honest. Is that a Stargate? It seems like it. That's what it appears to be. Big CX. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Say it has low power. Uh. Oh. Whoops. Uh, yeah, we're sucking power from the spaceship right now. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the anchor at Calidus Orbit, which definitely does have power, says it has low power. You can see from the power network here, we've got like 20, 19 gigawatts to spare. Um, but when we point at the dimensional anchor, uh, it says it, the electricity bar down the bottom, it's got a terajoule of energy capacity. Uh, which you'd think, you know, would take a little while to charge up, but instead of charging it up, the electricity bar just keeps moving and then resetting. The gate as well had low power. Might have to add more to interact. Yes, I think so. Um, so what we're waiting on right now is just one more... Here we go. Uh, we're going to anchor our construction ship right about here. Um, let's add some scaffolding over here. And some roboports. This way we could do this remotely next time. I think we had, um, yeah, we've got emitters, we've got receivers, as if we need those here, beam injectors. Uh, I kind of need to take it away from the buffer chests, though, in the ship. Uh, but yeah, we've got, what, quite a few gigawatts of power to spare. So we're going to point this thing at Foenestra. Uh, transmission efficiency is very low, 0.34%, but 3% of gigawatts is not trivial. It is going to take its sweet time warming up though, wow. 15.05 degrees. Uh, we might want to put more power into it. We can do another 8 gigawatts right here. I think, I think we can, that is. Yep, seems... F oh, wait. Are we... Are we good, or did we go over? <laughs> would it show yellow if we went over? I think it would. Um... Oh, it's definitely draining now. Okay, it's climbing back up. Cool. Uh, so that is... We've we we've gained half a degree of heat here. You might even make a cup of coffee at Foenestra with those 0.34%. Yeah. So what do we need here? 10 gigawatts, I think. Um, that's kind of a lot. Max consumption, 10 gigawatts. 
Okay. Actually, let me leave that there. So how much... How many of these would we need to beam power? 0.34%. Um... That doesn't sound right. How do I map this out? Don't tell me we need that much power if we're going to beam it. I think we might. this might be the use case for antimatter. Um, 0.34. Can we not use our calculator while it autosaves? How about this other calculator? Um, 1 over 0 0.34. No, it's like 0 0.0034. We need 294 times what we normally would, and 10 gigawatts times that. 294 times... Okay, yeah, it is as bad as I thought it was. Uh, didn't really think we'd need like 10 gigawatts here. Well, in that case, there's really no option. It's going to have to be um, antimatter reactors. Once the autosave decides to move. We've got two planets completely explored right now because we're clearing out the biters. That's why it's taking so long. My goodness. Lawful Eagle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Okay. I think I'll turn off autosave. Uh, other... Autosave interval... Never. I wonder how much power you could get by bringing in ships full of accumulators just to drain them. Uh, not a whole lot, really. Alright, we did research. No, we didn't. We should be able to knock this off quite quickly. Antimatter reactor. We need... Extended energy catalog, I think, is the only thing that might be not here already. In the mall. So we actually ended up needing all four types of energy catalog delivered here. How many catalogs is it? Five. Um, I don't really want to trigger a delivery of 8,000 of these just for that. So, we're literally only going to make a handful of antimatter reactors, I think. I'll have to go back and get them anyway, so I could just do this manually, but I would rather they're built by the time I get back. Let's put them under here for advanced power things. Um, should we make some Naquium pipe? Or I think we're going to be able to fit the uh, high temp heat exchangers around these very, very neatly anyway. Although, if we do it like this, there's nowhere for the bots to do their thing. Um, 400 megawatts 
and it does benefit from neighbor bonus, so that would be triple. Uh, twelve hundred megawatts per reactor. And this thing can consume five hundred and sixty. Uh, times four, forty eight hundred over five hundred and sixty megawatts. Uh, this can support eight. This is actually a really good ratio. Um, we could probably, without making any Naquium pipe, not be able to put water in these two. Perfect. Um, hmm. I think we do have to make Naquium pipe if we want to get the most out of this, but then we literally just need, like, what was it? 10 gigawatts. It's not 10 megawatts, it's 10 gigawatts, isn't it? So we do need a decent size reactor. Okay. 10 gigawatts divided by 560 megawatts. Um... is, let's call it 18, we need 18 high temp heat exchanges. Uh, let me not forget the part where I need to deliver catalogs here. Um, screw it, we're just going to do a one-off delivery of 8,000. <laughs> Our time is more of a resource than the actual resources for most things. I think it will end up needing an indecent sized power plant. Yeah, quite likely. Arctic temperatures are so high, the North Pole is in danger of going ice-free. There it is again, that funny feeling. Um, okay, so I don't think we can get away with no Naquim pipe here. Unless we go even more reactors. Which is probably not keeping the Naquim cost down in any way. What does it cost? It's only four Naquim plate... This is actually cheaper than it would otherwise be. This is three Naquim heat pipe that goes into this. And this is six. And let me guess, it lines up perfectly with these. Uh, almost. There's a gap here. I'm a little bit surprised about that gap. This one's the same, it's just half of this. Looks kind of weird. Oh wait, no, this one... Yeah, it's not the same. These aren't gonna, like, stop each other or anything. Okay. So we need 10 gigawatts. Uh... 1200 megawatts per reactor if we do it like this, uh, which is just under halfway there. Um, I guess if we do a 2x4, so we're going to get... I may have miscalculated that earlier, actually. No, this would be triple, this would be quadruple. Neighbor bonus 1, 2, 300%. Yeah, so we've got four hundred and uh, forty-eight hundred megawatts on the outside, and then sixteen hundred megawatts times four, sixty-four hundred plus forty-eight hundred is comfortably above our. 
what we need at Foenestra. So then, wait, I shouldn't have deleted that. Um, what was it? 6400 plus 4800? Yes. Divided by 560. Uh, is exactly 20. Perfect ratio. So we need 10 on each side. Uh, we can't do it like that because there's no room for I.O. on these ones. Also, we could make a nexus. Nequium tesseracts and processors. Heavy assembly. A device that can be activated on a spaceship moving in interstellar space to generate data. With additional tech, it can activate a space distortion field. Spaceship victory. Okay. Uh, so we need 10... 10 high temp heat exchangers on each side, right? That is 5 in each quarter. Uh, we could perhaps... These corner ones need input-output as well. We could put those there. And this goes here. The only question is if that's going to be any kind of problem to get this heat over here. Which I doubt. I mean, it's only one, two, three, four, five sections of heat pipe. Uh, let's say we do do that. Wait, what? That rotated in a weird way. That rotated in a very weird way. Uh, also, we couldn't get the water through here if we wanted to. Unless we do this. Long arm inserter. That should be fine. Can we use up some of this space somehow? Oh. Yeah, kind of. Except... It's not going to actually save any space. Really. Um... It might? So, if this goes here, and this goes here, uh, that's actually eight. We need 10 on each side. Oh wait, it's 9 actually. No, no it's not, it's 10. Derp. If we did them like this, then we probably couldn't connect the steam and the water. If we do it like this, 
more heat has to travel down here than it does over here. But is that actually a problem? We're not going to know until we try. Length of pipe would this be? 9, 10, 11, 12. Except we want... That's actually a good fit. 7 and a 5. And a 5. And again. Wait, what? Something is amiss. It doesn't go there. That just goes there, actually. And then we've got uh, 20 times uh, 562 steam per second. Max consumption, 10.023. Well, let's just multiply this out. Uh, 20 times 562 is 11.240. And we need to support high temp turbine generators that go... 1,023.479 each. Uh, 1023.479. We would need 11 turbine generators to make the most of this. But just barely. 10.1 to be precise, and we get 10 gigawatts out of 10 high temp turbine generators. We need 10 gigawatts plus change, but we also need uh, to add a bunch of condenser turbines to this just to take the 500 degree steam output, and those are also going to gen uh, generate power. So, I think we'll just go 10 high temp turbine generators. And the condenser turbines that we need to support them. Uh, and that probably will be enough to support Foenestra. Could we do better than this layout, I wonder? Also, this is the first time I've had to put a bunch of high temp turbine generators together. Um, that's looking a little tricky. If we have them in pairs, we don't need as many water output pipes. I don't think the throughput of the water coming out of them is a problem. I mean, it's 800 per second each, but it immediately goes back up here. Hmm. 800 per second. 8,000 water per second. Approximately. It needs to get cycled. It's actually quite a bit. I'm thinking we'll end up changing this layout. For all the time I've spent designing this already, I probably could have just gone back uh, to Navis orbit. I need to come back with thermofluid 
as well. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need that. Wait, what is that? Uh, it's a giant wedding ring. A stargate? Possibly. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go... Do we want to drop off anything else while we're here? Probably. Let's leave some stuff in chests. Um, high temp stuff, condenser turbines, scaffolding, pipes, pumps, storage tanks, power things, maybe some belt. Uh, let's make another, actually. Whoops. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, biochemical facilities, space belt, inserters, power things, robot things, solar panels literally do nothing here, and I don't think we're going to bother with beacons in this place. Alright, that's probably enough for now. I think there was a log with theories about its purpose in the Informatron diary or something. Do you mean exploration journal? Some sort of huge ring-shaped artifact found in the anomaly. A few things are immediately obvious even from a distance. It's ancient, the technology's different. Whatever it was, it's destroyed now. That seems to be about it. Alright, let's go back to Nalvis Orbit for the moment. And we'll keep designing this thing. We don't have an antimatter reactor yet. What are we missing? We didn't get the extended catalogs delivered. Why is that? No, we do have extended energy catalogs. Okay, so why... Oh, that's why. Yeah, it's requesting a few too many um, antimatter... Sorry cubes, rather. Um, why don't we just get it to make one antimatter reactor at a time? And then it's still requesting 2.5k. I really wish... I, I've said this before. Um, I wish without adding more combinators I could multiply results by input count but with some upper limit or even better, a stack size limit would make things a lot simpler. I don't think I want to add Naquium cubes to the miscellaneous, uh, to the like high volume chests just because of this. I could change this back so that it doesn't multiply things by input count. Um, but it's going to cause other things to be slow later on. Uh, but yeah, there's our first uh, antimatter reactor, I think.
Did you read the fourth line in the anomaly ship log? Anomaly ship log, fourth line. There's three lines. Unless we can... no. Where are we looking? Oh, down here. Gate 17... No, I don't think that's... Predicted target, Woob Galaxy, Fuenestra... Just your name is in it, indeed. Shot Shadow Plus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to fit all this together. It's going to end up being a lot bigger than I thought. Well, we only need five of these on each side, but... The one thing, that's not going to be symmetrical. But on the other hand... What if we go one, two, three, four, five? Maybe. Okay, that, that might be better, except once again, we can't hit the water if we do it that way. So I guess put this here, put this here, water pipe like so. We could maybe put some water storage snugly in there. So there's four tiles. There's no good length of space pipe for that. Then we've got this room in here that's going to waste. Uh, unless... I don't... Hmm... We actually... Oh, it's not... It's 500 degree steam that comes out here, not water. I don't think that's going to work out to be a good fit. But we could maybe have... Um, one, two, three, four, five or something? If the steam goes this way, I don't think this part's going to be possible, especially with space underground pipe. It wasn't. It wasn't going to be symmetrical anyway. Therefore, it's illegal. Okay. Um, maybe we could figure out another layout. It'll be more conducive to fitting these in conveniently. Um, I think this much is still going to be about the same. We could put... it's not going to be symmetrical. But we could... Actually, what about this? Oh, isn't that what we're already doing? Yeah. That part's probably as good as it gets. We need 20 in total. How fast do they make steam? 562 per second. This is like over 2,000. We can handle that with pumps. 
I just realized, given that there's absolutely no power out there, um, and pumps, for example, need electricity, uh, if this thing falls over, then there's no starting it back up. Unless we have, like, a backup generator in this thing, I guess. We could do that. Let's say we do this. That's eight, nine, ten. Uh, and that's going to produce five times five sixty two. Two point eight K steam per second. There's no middle tile here. This wouldn't be able to be symmetrical, and it makes me sad. But it still might be the way to go. Then again, we have to get heat pipe all the way down here. This one's actually pretty tricky to design. We need five of these per quarter. That's not going to fit snugly, is it? One, two... Three, four, five... That's not gonna... That's not gonna connect, is it? But then this is encroaching on that one. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this requires three thousand water to be pumped into it per second. I'm pretty sure the heat pipe would be okay though. We needed 10 of these in total, right, to use up almost everything produced by the other stuff. That's 2.5 per quarter. We could just overdo it with the turbine generators. You won't have fluid throughput issues, thought Max was like 1200 for pipes. Uh, it depends on how close together you have pumps and pipe sections, basically. Um, we've actually got a device over here for demonstrating this. So over here we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six pipe sections before the storage tank. Um, did I set it up so that this resets the timer? I think. Um, first of all, we're going to remove all of this. And then... I don't remember how this operates. Let's clear this. Let's see. R equals zero. R for reset. Anything greater than zero. Pulse generator. Yeah, so when we turn this back on, it starts the timer. Okay. I think that's going to keep going until... Uh, let's just fill it with water. 
think the time Standing is there alone, when... the ship is waiting. All systems are go, are you sure? Control is not convinced, but the computer has the evidence. No need to abort. The countdown starts. What is that from? Uh, I could just feed it a red signal instead. Let's clear this. Clear this. Alright, so we've reset our timer here. Oh, we've stopped it. And then... When I turn this off and on... Oh, when I turn it off, it stops the pump from being able to... Yeah, there we go. All Watching right. in a trance, the crew is certain. Nothing left to chance. All is working. Major Tom. Trying to relax. Up in the capsule. Send me up a drink. Jokes Major Tom. The count goes on. Okay. Uh, can we reset this timer? Or is this the timer? There we go. This is just to show the decimals. Alright, so this is switched off. Uh, what? Green greater than zero. Green is zero. Oh, it just had a bit of water in it. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Earth below us. Drifting, falling, floating weightless. Calling, calling home. Indeed. Uh, so... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pipe sections, and then a storage tank. We're going to switch this on, and we're going to see how many ticks it takes to fill this up. So far, we, uh, so far we're at 300 ticks. It is going to slow down as it gets closer to full. Uh, as you can see, we're above 1,200 pumping speed right now. Maximum is 12,000, if it's like from one container directly to the next container. Um, and it's decreasing, it's all the way down to 1.1k now. Uh, we're at 900 ticks approximately. We are at 1,070. Watching in a trance, the crew is certain. Nothing left to chance. All is working. Trying to relax. Up in the capsule. Send me up a drink. Jokes Major Tom. The count goes on. Indeed. Uh, so once this reaches, what is it, 24.5k? We're going to stop the timer. Uh, and that's going to be relatively soon. There we go. So we're looking at 1,662 ticks to fill that up with water. Four, three, two, one. Earth below us. Drifting, falling, floating weightless. Calling, calling home. Okay, so we're going to reset this. And we're going to trigger this again with, let's say, three pieces of pipe between. Actually, let's make it just one piece of, uh, like, let, let's make it as fast as possible, just to illustrate this. So we're going to switch this on, and obviously it's going much, much faster. We're over 10,000 pumping speed still, and we're done. 137 ticks. The fewer pipe sections you have between, uh, like, a pump and... Uh, to be sh to be clear, the offshore pumps only do 1,200 per second, uh, but pumps themselves can go at 12,000. Um, and pipes don't strictly limit water to, like, 1,200 per second or something like that. It depends on the number of containers between the pumps. Second stage is cut. We're now in orbit. Stabilizers up. Running perfect. Starting to collect. Requested data. What will it affect when all is done? Thinks Major Tom. 
Yes, indeed. Was the ore clip from? Uh, Giant's Citizen Kabuto, actually. Uh, it's a bit of an obscure game, I think. A little bit obscure. Not that obscure, I would imagine. Alright, we just arrived back. Good timing. Let's, uh, request some stuff. Get in our spider. And... I don't really need all this stuff. It might be a little bit easier to design this stuff while we're physically there. So, bearing that in mind... Uh, we could just go... For the sake of symmetry and definitely having more than we need... Back at ground we could control, just go for like 12 problem. of these. Go to rockets full, not responding. Hello Major Tom, are you receiving? Turn the thrusters on. We're standing by, there's no reply. Uh-oh. Please stop, my ears are bleeding? Oh no. If you're already aware of it, that's fine. Uh, aware of which? Aware of... Which I don't see how you're going to avoid in a nuclear reactor design. Even a single pipe usage... Yeah, no, it can go faster between just a few pipes. Actually, I'll demonstrate that real quick. I'll empty this thing again. And turn this off. And we'll put three pipe sections. And go. Uh, that was almost 2,000. It may have it may have been 2,000 for a moment there. Uh, and this is why... This is why the space exploration long pipes give you... Like, it's, it's one section of pipe that's nine tiles long. Because of the way that works. Okay, stopping. Uh, thanks for the bits, Wes. Much appreciated. I'm going to have to listen to that song later. So I have the, the actual song in my head. Because I only know bits of it. Uh, Alright, so water comes out the sides. 500 degree steam comes out down here. If we have three of these... 214, let's call it 215 times 3 is 645. Except it's not actually going to be that much. Uh, we need 10.1 of these and then divided by 4 for each quarter. So... 215 times 10.1 over 4. 520, uh, 543 500 degree steam per second. 543 uh, over 80 is we need 7 condenser turbines to support these. That's more than I would have necessarily expected. And I think we could have a water pipe right about here, actually. We may need to add some pumps to make sure the water goes fast enough. Wait, what is that? Oh, derp. So how much water would this be? Uh, uh, 10.1 over 4. 
times 798. And then also, what we can consider all of this 500 degree steam that comes out to be water in the end. Um, so the total that water that has to come out of this is 798.313 plus 214.931. percent of this, I think it is, but who cares? Uh, 1013 times 10.1 over 4. We need 2.5k. It's actually quite a lot. We're going to need a lot of pumps to do it this way. To get the water back to where it needs to go. Also... If we don't use these five pipes here for the 500 degree steam... We could have a fairly convenient pipe connection up here. I really like that song. I prefer it over the Bowie 2 Major Tom songs. Indeed. Uh, how much 500 degree steam? It's like less than 600 that's going to be coming out of, out of here. Although they each need like 2.5 ish, kind of, so this part won't do. That goes there. I don't mind the layout of this so much, as long as it's actually going to work. I think we can still do a fiver here. That should be okay. And we're going to need many pumps, I think. It's not three or four, uh, three or five, is it? Let's put a pump here. And then that's not an odd number either. Rip. Can we make this line up with nines, for example? That's a seven. No, it's not. It also goes much faster if we keep it empty. That's something to bear in mind. So this might actually be enough water throughput. I think we're going to have to run the experiment. See how that goes. I could jump into editor extensions to do this. Um, Alright, we need water storage somewhere. We should pump it up this way as well. Or maybe we could do some kind of water storage in the middle. And or... This is too good of a fit not to try. And... How much water are we actually consuming? Uh, 1% of 1,023. 
Uh, about 10.23 per second times 10.1 over 4. About, let's call it 26 water per second. Is going to get consumed by just running Foenestra. That's not that much. Um, that's like one water tank every thousand seconds ish. All right. Uh, I guess we don't actually need these ones. Oh, yes, we do. The middle one. The middle one needs them. Let's put some pumps in here as well. Keep those empty as much as possible. The other thing I'm realizing now is we can't actually... Pump the water in on this side. And still have a place for our chests. In which case, I guess offsetting this by one doesn't really help us. We could maybe make this bit a bit neater again. Maybe we could even have... Nah, there's no room for a pump there. Maybe like this. Pumps work better if they go straight into a big container though. How much does this actually hold? Uh, let's find one of our ships. Oh, is this thing done? It is not, actually. Did we run out of scaffolding? We did. Uh, whoops. I miscalculated. I think I would rather just send this thing back, or send another ship to Hankerus. Either way. Hank or us. And we'll send that one back to Nalvis Orbit. Actually, I could send it... No, never mind. I was going to say I could send it to start building the next outpost, but it's going to need scaffolding anyway. That's not Nalvis Orbit. Um... I think I'm starting to like this layout. I definitely like this part. Yeah, the only bit that's a bit awkward is pumping the water into some kind of container here. It's not going to neatly line up with this. Also, I could offset this over to the middle, sort of the opposite of what I, what I did before to make that pipe go up there, but I think I'd rather not. William Shatner covered Major Tom? Yes. What type of power and for what purpose are you building? Uh, anti antimatter reactors and the thing that uh, forced me to concede that there's a reason to build those is Foenestra because we get um, let's see 0.34% transmission efficiency here so we could either energy beam like we have in most in most everywhere else uh, and we would need like what was it 30 I think it was 
something like 300 gigawatts. Yeah, 30 I, I could manage. I think we'd have to pump about 300 gigawatts into an energy beam emitter. Um, just for the 10 gigawatts that this thing needs to run. Um, or we could do an antimatter reactor build. 3 terawatts. Ouch. So it really was as bad as I cal uh, calculated. What if you built a fleet of ships with antimatter power and do do them dock them all there? Yeah, we could. I haven't actually built an antimatter reactor yet um, because we get so much. Uh, the energy beam receivers store so much energy um, that I find this preferable. Just beaming power to them instead of having them burn a resource that we actually have to collect. Um, Alright, so we're looking for... Oh. And perhaps... Whoops. Storage. I could go for quite a lot of fluid storage. Just so that we have the peace of mind that it's not going to, it's going to take a very long time to run out. We could also pump the water in this way. Actually, how fast is this going to consume? 560, it's going to be a little tiny bit slower than that, but let's call it 560 times 5 is nearly 3,000. We actually need to keep that water moving uh, kind of fast. So if we could have... Why don't we have a bit of both here? We could have a bunch of storage and... The water flow rate at maximum by doing this. Those three sections of pipe are the about the slowest part. Bear in mind that because we're going to keep this empty, the water's going to fl flow faster with these sections here. I guess the same is true of this part. might be the way to go. Alright, how many antimatter reactors do we have? I'm thinking this is just... yeah, that's the limit of our reach. Uh, we have another two. I think that's because I changed the request down here to one. Let's reset this timer real quick. There we go. I could also, uh, for testing purposes, just connect a uh, connect a beam receiver to this to transfer the heat in. But I'm not going to be quite as pedantic as that. I'll keep this up here just in case I want to refer back to any of that design, though I don't think that's likely at this stage. And we do have some antimatter canisters here, though I don't think there's any automated delivery. Um, 
Where are these anti matter canisters going? I didn't go and pick any of these up earlier. Wait, what what do antimatter canisters go into? Arcosphere collectors, that must be it. Oh, that means we've got Arcosphere we've got antimatter canisters right here that I can steal. Take them away, please. I imagine we're going to have to waste a significant amount of fuel just to get these up to temperature. Since they're only... What was it? Two and a half times? Eight gigajoules, sixteen... Yeah, they're only two and a half times as energy dense as uranium fuel cells. Also, why are we not... ...placing these yet? Uh, we should definitely not have zero antimatter reactors. I know the bots are holding onto a few of them. Oh, here they are. 500 low density structures. That is a bit steep. I actually thought we'd have these reactors here by now. Wait, why is it... how is it removing... What? How do those items keep getting removed? Before we make a recipe, when we're not swapping the recipe? What is happening here? Inserters can't take from this. We're not swapping the recipe, that only happens every 1800 ticks. And you'd see like a flicker when that happens as well. Uh... I think maybe it is trying to flicker off from that recipe over here. But there's no room in the output. Yeah, 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 not enough space in chest, it's doing this recipe over here. Okay. Um, that will actually sort itself out, believe it or not. Alright, um, do we want... So, so we need like 2.5 to 3k of water flow in here. We can account for that on that side. I don't think there's any reason to connect those like that, but it probably can't hurt. Output goes there. And... Do I have any Naquium accumulators? I do. We could do some fuel management. Definitely don't want to waste any antimatter canisters. They're a bit of a hassle to make. So it's going to output... Um, going to output canisters, right? Empty canisters? Uh, just magnetic canister is what I meant to say. Um, magnetic canister greater than zero. 
And on this one, just read hand contents pulse. Oh, and the enabled condition on this one is accumulate a charge less than some amount. Or maybe it would be better to read steam. We can store a hell of a lot more energy in 500, 5,000 degree steam. Um, this is a bit awkward though. There's no way to make it symmetrical. Uh, we can put this here. That's actually... Well, we can't put a second one. Can we connect a wire Move it this way? Yes. Okay. Let's get rid of that. That should be okay. Throughput wise. So when when steam is below I don't know, ten thousand. When steam is below ten K how fast do we make steam? Well we're gonna be consuming most of it. Let's just try this for now. Steam below 10k, then it's going to respond pretty quickly. We can probably go down to like 1k. We'll see. When steam is below 1k, output the last bit of... Out output the canister from last time. When we output the canister, put in more... Um, Antimatter canisters. And we'll put something similar over here. Can we reach? We can. Do we not have any more antimatter reactors? We do not. Do we have no more cubes? We do not. We've got everything else. Let's go pick up some cubes if they're not already on the way. It's not already on the way. Uh, so we need, what, 50... 50 cubes for each reactor. Uh, so we need another 100, which is like 12 stacks. Um, the rest is pretty easy to fill out though. I can't flip this. Okay. Rude. Uh, not this part. And then... Copy, paste, flip. One, two. And the exact same thing, but this way. Should be fine. Actually, why don't we connect all these as well? And we only need to read from one of these tanks. Uh, I do notice we've got four distinct 
storage areas for water. Maybe we shouldn't do that. But connecting them is a bit awkward. Hmm. I don't want to have to run pipe all the way around or anything. We might end up just having... Ice machine here, and one on the other end as well. It actually fits very snugly. Oh wait, am I missing pipe here? Heat pipe. Okay. Um, so we have biochemical facility. Unfortunately, we can't have it output to both sides. And there's no, no way to make this symmetrical either. I don't suppose these are going to connect up nicely. They actually are. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. We still have two separate water storage areas, but that's, that's a really nice fit. I think I could live with having... If only this fit in here, that would be nice. I think I could live with having a biochemical here and a biochemical here to put ice into the system. Also, the water does get shared between these two sides. In hindsight, that's actually a pretty good idea. We'll obviously need some roboports. Uh, unlike with most nuclear reactors, there's no point in squeezing in some solar panels just to make sure we get the minimum out of power, since there's literally zero solar power at Foenestra, except for our beamed power. I made 30 prod 9 modules today. Wow. Melt ice. Melt ice. Do we have ice in the mall? We do. I'd be shocked if we didn't. Alright. Oh, I was picking up cubes, wasn't I? To make the last couple of... Uh, we need like 12 stacks. Let's keep going. Let's just take it all to the mall. It's fine. Mic muted. Indeed, I just noticed. Thanks. El Pancho. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for pointing that out. 
Alright, so I don't think we're going to be needing this rough draft over here. Um, I wonder how much temperature we've gained at Boanestra. Almost 100 degrees. This might... I, I said it before, but this might actually be decent as just... We'll just use this as like the tiny little bit of power that we need to make sure that the big reactor can do something. Well, uh, we would need a ship to kickstart it regardless, but what do we need? Like a hundred kilowatts and change? Just to make sure the pumps uh, make that like, let's call it 500 kilowatts. If we can beam 500 kilowatts to pa of power there, then we can be absolutely sure that if this thing were to fall over somehow, just give it more fuel and water and it'll work. Um, 0. 0034 times 1,000... Is that 1 gigawatt? That would be 3,400 watts. Yeah, that should be fine. We literally just need, like, one energy beam injector for that. And one condenser turbine. We could just pump. We could just use like one heat exchanger to make 500 degree steam. And put it into the existing reactor. Hello, I'm wondering how long you've been playing this map and what... Do you think your completion percentage is? Uh, completion percentage is definitely over 90%, more like 95, I would imagine. Uh, the save is about a month of game time. It's a very, very long uh, mod. Do I have? Yeah, I do. And we need power, of course. I don't want to connect it to this power, though. Oh, it is connected to this power, though. Okay. Let's move it out of range. don't actually want the bots to pick those up. Not from the mall, anyway. And we're going to need to extend our bot network. And maybe a robo uh, supercharger down here might be good. Okay. 
Okay. We've got 144. some ice as well. And I don't know... We probably don't want this to get too full. The less fluid there is in here... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to be delivering it as ice, so... Well, whatever fluid is in here is going to be able to be put into here very, very quickly, regardless. This part we might want to keep empty. This part can actually be pretty full. I can actually make that a bit more snug. Looks kind of weird though. Alright, so we're gonna have pylon. I'll wait till everything's built. Oh, we don't have any Naquium heat pipe yet, do we? We need superconductive cable and Naquium plate, and apparently we can handcraft this. So let's do that. completed K2 four times already and I want to play with it, but 800 hour plus per map scares me a little, indeed. I want to start SE when the new version comes out to test. Yeah, I don't know that K2 necessarily makes it that much longer. There's some quality of life stuff in K2 that makes it easier, right? But I really don't know. Alright, give to me the things I need to make the Nacrim pipe, please. Oh, right, there's no plate here. Maybe there should be. But I'd need to get a whole train delivery of it. Um, what's 160 times 20? 3200... And I'll just temporarily set the provide stack threshold here very low. That should cause a delivery to go straight to the mall. In a few seconds this light should go yellow. In a few seconds, this light should go yellow. Provide stack threshold 1. Uh, the mall is... Station's not in use right now. Oh, it is. Blank data cards. But I think we've got a train limit that's a bit higher. Limit train's 3. 3.2k Naquim plate. Provides a uh, request stack threshold is a long train. Oh, is this it? No? Wait, what? They've got the same station name. Okay, cool. That's going to the mall. Fantastic. I can change this back to what it should be. And yeah, I think we're only missing the heat pipe here. So I'll 
delete that. And we need some pylon substations. Actually, let's put this over here or somewhere. That's actually a pretty snug fit. Maybe that would look better. Alright, just waiting on that train now. And that's the blank data card train. Where be our Nequium? Uh, it's not... Oh, I see what happened here. Glad I checked on it. How soon till we get another load of Nequium in space? Nequ Nequium plate, that is. Relatively soon. It seems like every time I check on it, it's about this full. And we're still making it. Fantastic. This one's slowed down a bit. Uh, that's not surprising. We're slightly short on Nequium compared to how much we can process it. But if we look at our... ingot production over the last while. That was our limit before, and uh, overall we're producing a little bit more, like over the last hour, 478 per minute, as opposed to, what, 416 per minute, 417 per minute? Every time I check, well, never mind. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're going to need a solar panel up here just as a catalyst to get the whole thing started. Where's our plate? Oh, it's... That's right, the train wasn't moving yet. Here it comes. Is it profitable to use spaceships to deliver items to space station instead of cargo rockets? It seems that spaceships eat up Spaceships eat UPS dramatically when they are departed slash arriving. Uh, do they? Oh, you mean all the bot activity? You can use belts for spaceships if you want to. Um, let me just make this heat pipe real quick. How many do I need? Twelve and eight. I can only make eight of these right now. I need more plate. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Eleven. What a tease. Where did the rest of it go? Wait, aren't I requesting this? I am. should be it. Uh, yeah, it's it costs a lot more rocket fuel uh, to use those, those little, little shuttles for the cargo, but you don't have to deal with cargo rocket sections and all of that nonsense, or crashing ships. Um, I actually mean lag just after arriving slash departing. Maybe it's my problem only. Uh, yeah, I've never actually experienced that. That just happens instantly on my playthrough. 
All right, so we need a bit of solar power, just enough to get some water in here and run the pumps. Oh, and we're supposed to check Water needs to be less than, I don't know. I'm sure 10,000 is, let's say less than 5,000. That should mean there's plenty of water here, but also, come to think of it, if all the water ends up here, this has to, this has to have, uh, this has to stay empty. But as long as this isn't actually completely full, it should be fine. Uh, anyway, let's put this over here. Whoops. Copy paste that. Flip it around. I think we are just about ready to give this thing a test. Maybe I could add some pylon substations around here somewhere so that the wiring doesn't look as weird, but I don't think I care. Don't need that one. All right, so we're going to give it a signal. Where's my constant combinator? Here we go. And that signal is going to be uh, the equivalent of used up uranium fuel cell magnetic canister. Switch that on for just a moment, and we get a nice, a nice synchronized entry of antimatter canisters. I actually want this to be stack size 1, but for the initial input I'm sure it's fine. Okay, wow, it actually gains heat really quickly. We're already at a thousand. So this is... 60 gigajoules of energy that was put into each antimatter reactor. Uh, 720 gigajoules that we've got over here. I just realized we need an energy sink to test this properly. I definitely should have jumped into editor extensions. Um... I could put down a dimensional anchor, except I can't because we're in orbit as opposed to Calidus orbit. I could put down some umbrellas. Or wide area beacons. Wide area beacons. This is 10 megawatts each. The umbrella is actually only 10 megawatts. We need 10 gigawatts at our, at Foenestra, so that would be, what, a thousand beacons to test it properly? Why are some of them, oh, they're done, okay. All right, well, that is well over a gigawatt, at least see this working somewhat. Wait. If that's over a gigawatt, we definitely don't need a thousand of these to test it. No, we do. It's only 250 megawatts. Um, but yeah, the water here... ...is staying pretty empty.
That's interesting. How does it know the limit is like 10.1 gigawatts? If we've got like too many turbine generators. Oh. I didn't finish making the Naquium heat pipe. Uh, whoops. Although apparently we only need three more of these? I must have miscounted. We need one, two, three, four long pipes. Which means I need a little bit more plate. And I need a whole lot more um, beacons if that's what we're going to use to test the load. How many can I fit in my inventory right now? Uh, we've got like another 46, 47 stacks. Uh, over a thousand. Didn't we need a thousand? To test it? I don't think we have a thousand tier two beacons just lying around. In fact, apparently I've taken all of them. Uh-oh. What else could I use uh, really quickly for a test load? Oh, I know. Yeah, 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 energy beam injectors. Perfect. They use a gigawatt each. That's really easy, actually. Alright, get rid of the uh, beacons. Uh, where did I put them? Some factories with production plus speed? Oh, for the power consumption. Yeah, no, this is... These are a gigawatt each, so that's pretty easy. Do it that way. Considering we want to test for exactly 10 gigawatts, um, and we've got... This should be able to produce a little bit more than that. Oh, now it says 12.2 gigawatts. Okay. Energy beams, the ultimate energy sink. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright. And these are exactly one gigawatt each, I think? I don't think it matters if they are plugged into anything. Nope. Oh, and I need... No, I need three more of these. I didn't pick up enough plate. Early game, I was using signal transmitters for the same task. Yeah, it makes sense. I do recommend... Um, even if you're going into, like, editor extensions, uh, use some actual buildings as test loads because I don't know what it was but whenever I used the like cheap power producers or consumers um, I didn't seem to get the same results testing it as I did in game all right so queen pipe long 
The bots didn't just steal that, did they? I think they did. Yeah, they did. Alright, back we go. And we should be able to be fairly confident. Uh, that this is working. All of these are at 10k degrees. 10k, 10k. I'm not shocked that we're able to pump our heat this far. And steam is at 2k, so we're not putting any more fuel in. So our precious antimatter... It looks like we're not going to have any trouble avoiding wasting antimatter. And we're not... Oh. Why are we... Uh... Why is our power all over the place? Low input fluid. We're pumping only like it's actually all over the place. Uh oh. Uh oh. What if we temporarily reduce the load? Okay, so we know the pumps are working properly now. They're only pumping like 16, 1500 per second. So we're not getting fluid here. Um, I think the water cycling from here is having no trouble though. So maybe we just need more water in here to begin with. No ice. Pushing water through the heat exchangers doesn't really scale well. That's why we've got a pump right next to a storage tank here. But I guess each heat exchanger... I guess each heat exchanger maybe counts as a single section of pipe, as far as we're concerned. Which means we really can't have a neat layout like this. I'm going to try pumping... We, we have no ice here. Let's go get some ice. Uh, how about you just remove everything? We'll come back with some ice, fill this thing up with water more, and I think the rate that we pump water should increase. Um, but I suspect it's... I'm leaning towards it's probably still not enough, maybe. I don't know, we did get all the way up to like 2,000 water per second being pumped in here. And we only need like 25, 2600 to support each quarter. So that being the case, it might just be possible if we keep this part full enough. It would be a shame to have to start over, more or less. But that's why you test, especially with, like, nuclear-style reactors. It's very often a problem like this. If it's not heat, it's water. I guess it could be steam as well, but typically it's pretty easy to get steam from A to B since it's such a short path. So 
So how many gigawatts can this thing support as is, I wonder? Did we get that ice? Yes, we did. Actually, is that enough? Because I think we brought a couple of stacks of ice before. Well, we can try it, I suppose. Although, if fluid doesn't tend to get here, then it's going to tend to stay on one side. I guess. I don't think we have any logi bots over here anyway. Uh, I am curious to find out how high we can go. Oh. Yeah, we can only go 50%, a little bit under 50% of what it should be able to do. As it is at the moment. Alright, spider, please stand in the middle. Bots. Do your thing. Uh, spider... Remove everything, trash unrequested, actually, yeah, no, that'll be fine. So we're going to keep going until... Until this is almost full of water. see what the pumping speed looks like. It's going to take a minute, uh, so I think now's a good time for a little break. Let's continue with the words on stream at level 9. We have identified your email address was found on the dark web. Sign up for our protection services. <laughs> Lol. Alright, in about 30 seconds, we're going to start some words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun.
try again. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Uh, hide that. And let's see what kind of water throughput we're getting. That is not much of an improvement. In fact, I think it might have actually decreased? That doesn't seem right. Oh, we've still got hardly any water in here though. Hmm. Did we get rid of all this ice? Yeah, we did. I 
It's going to take a lot of water just to test. Okay, you know what? We're jumping into editor extensions for this. Let's go with... Antimatter Reactor. Save the game. Maybe I should kick off another level of words on stream while that saves. Let's go. Surprise words on stream. There's definitely a fake letter in crazy. Oh, that save though. Yeah, this was the right choice. Z is fake. This one's kind of tough, huh? Are we rip? All right, let's load this save. It's going to take a moment to go back to the menu. It's taking its sweet time. All right, one more. I'm sure we can knock off a level one. All right. Confirm. Game literally showed it to us, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're finally in. Uh, let's just build this down here. Maybe... Maybe we'll make some more scaffolding, actually. Where are we getting this stuff from? Over here. Need another bot network, I think. There we go.
Fantastic. Alright, we've got our scaffolding. We've got our prototype. We've got our words on stream, off the stream. Uh, we've got infinite ice. Should probably make this a bit faster. But I'm pretty sure this is uh, not going to work all that well. But we'll leave this one running for a while just to make sure. Does this one still not have fuel? Oh! I never did the requests over here. Okay. You can just go ahead and put in some extra fuel there. I really don't care about the fuel management while we're testing in editor extensions. We've done fuel management systems before, they're not difficult. So we're obviously going to start with 2x4 antimatter reactors. Um, and most likely the same layout for the fuel input. Unless we do here, 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 and here. Maybe I should start with this assumption and see what kind of shape uh, we end up building. We need 20 high temp uh, heat exchangers, and sets of 5 were too much for the fluid input. So I'm thinking... Hmm, let's run this a bit longer. Oops. Editor. Go fast. You know what? Why don't we just cheat some water directly? Speed this up even more. Water level 90%. And I want to see exactly how... Output full. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, we didn't give it a load, that's why. Uh, let's go for some energy beam... Injectors. And... Slow time back down to normal. So the third one is actually working consistently. Uh, it looks like they're all working. Hold on. Is this actually... Okay, we're not getting 10 gigawatts out of this, so it still needs improvement, however, we are actually getting water here. If we're getting water here, then what's the problem? Steam is saturated. Um... Where's the problem, I wonder? This is like the opposite of what I was expecting to happen. I thought no matter how full... Oh, did we overfill the water? 
Is that the problem? We can fix that pretty easily. Let's just put... Yeah, that'll do. Maybe we should remove a bit more. The middle turbines do not get enough flow. Enough water output? Alright, we're gonna remove water. Remove water. Alright, so we are below 24,000 in these tanks, which is what I was looking for. And that should keep these... Uh-oh. Wait, are we still... We're not still in super speed, are we? Looks like normal game speed. Yeah, normal game speed. I could have just looked at the FPS UPS for that. Eternal weight. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It doesn't seem to be having any trouble outputting water, but I would have thought these pipe sections here would be kept empty. Uh, this is pumping 2200 per second, as is this one. I mean, it would have to be. If this is only this one's not pumping at all, because we're saturated on... S we're not saturated on steam. That changed pretty quickly. Uh, if this is full, this should be able to pump at full speed. 2700. Okay. So this is actually able to keep up. 560... Uh, 562 water per second times 5 is 2810, but we're not actually needing the full amount. Um, I think we needed, like, roughly 2.5 high temp turbine generators per quarter. So, 1023. Uh, we need, like, 2,557 water, maybe a little bit more, to be able to pump through here. Um, it beat that at peak, but it keeps changing. It keeps changing how fast it's pumping water in here. Does this thing consume a whole bunch of water all at once, or... It doesn't look like it. weird. And we've got heat. Uh, let's just turn off the power management. No, if we've got steam... If we've got steam, it shouldn't be an issue. It's the 500 degree steam. Wait, really? It's not the 500 degree steam on this side. Okay, that's really strange. These are symmetrical. These, these are mirrors of each other. But on this side... We've got a whole bunch of 500 degree steam. And on this side, not so much. Is it the same over here? 500 degree. Okay, I think it's probably because the water levels on the opposite sides are a bit different or something. Um, why don't we... Why don't we drain some water? At 
most 90% this is surprising and you know what uh, maybe we could just temporarily delete this and see what it looks like after that. Yeah, I think this is its natural state. Uh, we are... this is rather full. That's no good. It's pumping a thousand water per second. This thing outputs like 800. Okay, so clearly we're not cycling the water as well as we could be. I think that might be the issue, but surprisingly enough, we can actually support uh, five of these high temp heat exchangers in a row. Uh, and that being the case, I think I want to stick with this layout as much as I can. It's not going to get much neater than this. However, I think I want to be able to pump water in on this side. To do that, we'd have to move all of the high temp heat exchangers out by one tile, which means... Well, all of this would go out by one tile. We'd need four more pieces of Nequim heat pipe. This would actually be fine right here, connecting to this antimatter reactor. Um, temperatures very much not an issue. So if we... Let's try it over here. Let's leave this one running and we can edit this one as we please. So first of all, where should we start actually? Let's just delete the other side, get rid of that, keep this. Move that over one tile, move that over one tile, and that doesn't have to be a long arm, in fact it probably helps if it's not. Just copy paste this. Uh, in that case, I think I would like to move all of this over a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Nope, I'm not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Although my voice is struggling just a little bit there. Whoops. Um, how much water can actually be stored in one of these things? Uh, it probably tells us over here. 2,000. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. So this is 10,000 water. We probably don't need to have some storage down here as well. Uh, it looks like 500 degrees steam is all getting consumed instantly, which is what I would expect. Not over this side. That's very strange. It's because the water output. Okay. Okay. 
I've actually started a SE playthrough as well on point six. Nice. I've heard good things. So this is kind of what I wanted to do before. Um, probably do a fiver right about here. I can't. I can do a fiver here. This should be okay. I think. And then... Let's... We'll see how that goes. What about over this side? That actually lines up really well. Uh, can we do the same thing over here, maybe? Okay, yes. That's actually really snug. Um, but is it going to improve our water situation at all? I think... Oh, we can actually squeeze pumps in here. Okay, that might... That might be a little bit overkill, but I would rather... I would rather overkill than I need to reload. So a bunch of friends to ease the burden of the start, fair enough. Currently we are at the near planet out outposting phase. No fantasy space station yet, but hustling towards that, fair enough. So we've got one, two, three sections of pipe here. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. So there's nowhere that the water has to go through more than three sections of pipe without a pump. That should be pretty good, actually, and I really like the shape of this aesthetically as well. Um, it's a shame we can't... Can we just remove these and then flip it? We can. So that connects to here. Like where this is going. And then we can rotate it, surely. Let's remove that. Yeah, I really like the look of this so far. So judging by the steam and what I see of being generators, I would guess power? Yes. Uh, just in case of spoilers, I'll be a little bit vague and say there is a location somewhere that has zero solar power. And also, uh, the other option that we usually use to get electricity somewhere is very, very, very weak. Um, so, we're needing quite a lot of power. Nuclear is a bit weak. So, we're actually doing antimatter reactors. And we're looking for about 10... Uh, 10 gigawatts and change. Roboport would fit snugly right about here. We've already got some here, but this is too good of a fit not to go for.
else can we do this? Oh, that's perfect. And then some power. Don't forget this. That doesn't look right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Skribski. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One, two, three, four, five, six. And... Uh, I think that's basically it. Let's put some water in before we start. Is this going to line up again? Yeah, it is. Oh, and we could also connect these sides to each other. I don't know how important that is going to be. But... It should, as long as we are producing significantly more power than we need, um, that should help it all balance out, as long as we're not consuming every last bit of water. Also, this can go here, this can go here, that might not hurt. Alright, so let's... Let's fill it up with the amount of water we think we want um, before we even get started. I guess I should figure out where this is going to be squeezed in anyway. It's probably just going to be the exact same thing. Is this already full? This goes right about... Uh, can we get it to go into two of them at once? I don't think it's possible. Nope. Let's go with that. It's a bit more snug, I think. Figure out where to put some power poles. Pylon substation. We can actually just put them here, I suppose. Alright. Nothing left to do but add some heat. And see how this goes. I've seen something and think your chat on screen is broken, as it can't render apostrophes. Wait, what? Chat can't render apostrophes? Here is some text. You get like a end hash three nine. Uh, Master Kaza, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me have a look at the preview here. 
Oh yeah, you're right. I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, I guess I'll have to look for some other kind of uh, text box thing. Temperature is already at 10k over here. Wait, what? Hold on. Temperature here is only 5.4k. This one's at 10,000? That doesn't seem right. Low temperature. No, the temperature is at 5k now. I was reading down the bottom. Whoops. It looks like it's using HTML escaping out of the characters. Yeah. I haven't changed anything from the defaults, except for, like, some settings and stuff. I haven't done anything advanced messing with the, um, with the chat box. I just used, I think it's Streamlabs's chat box. Master Kazan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so I guess output full. Oh, we need a load to test this thing. Also, hmm, let's just move this up a bit. Disconnect it from here. Alright, so we do have a load here, but it's not a whole lot. Um, production. Allegedly we can get 12.2 gigawatts, I know that's not quite right. And let's put some beam injectors. Our goal is 10 gigawatts for this plant. Oh, hello. This is looking a lot better. Oh, and I forgot to even put a pump here. But it doesn't seem to be a problem. Working output full, working output full. This is looking very reliable. It could be a thing with the chat box not having the characters like when you copy Firefox emojis to Chrome. Mm. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, the thing is, I just typed in... Here is some text with, like, single quotes, and it did the same thing. It wasn't any special characters. Yeah, I don't know where to even shop around for a different uh, chat box. I'll have to look into it. Uh, but yeah, this seems to be working perfectly. It's not that very... It's it's not very different from this design. Um, we're just putting the water in from both sides. And we're not even pumping it in as aggressively. And that's pretty much the only difference. I think. So we're pumping it in on both sides, and this water can go to here, this water can go to here, not that that should make a difference if everything's settled. Yeah, um, I think this will be our, our build. Let's blueprint it real quick, except for these things. So this is, I think, a 
10.1, 10.2 gigawatt. I'll just label it as like 10.1. That's discounting the power that we get from the uh, condenser turbines. And throw that into power. Uh, I guess we can delete this one now. Yeah, there's no reason to hold on to this. Rector's working all the time on the left. Rector's working all the time on the left. Output full, working, working. Output full. Yeah, the heat exchangers are working. It's very odd that these three look a little bit different. But as long as it works, I don't think I care. 500 degrees steam is saturated. That should not be the case. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Hold on. You're supposed to stop... Yep. Wait, what? We're checking that this thing is only less than 24k, which it is. And we're putting more water in. The water goes in down here. And this is as full as it can get. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. That's unexpected. You would think controlling uh, the fluid input with the inserter... I, I never thought that the... Uh, uh, the biochemical facility would hold on to 2,000 water. Um, that's a bit of an issue. And also we should be reading from this one, not this one. Because that's where the water actually goes in. Okay. Um, why don't we just start over? We're going to need a little bit of power to get started. So that the inserters can put ice. Into the system. Actually, I just looked around what it is with the single quotes, and it seems to be an encoding issue with Steam Labs itself. Is this like a long-term thing, or is it a patch? Should I expect a patch to fix it or something? I think I may have seen this before. I don't remember. Green wire to Steam. Good point. Although, as long as we're just testing this, it doesn't really matter. Oh, this doesn't reach. It does reach the constant combinator. I guess we'll just keep that there. This is our manual insert... Uh, insert fuel button. Um, how different... It's actually twice the minimum power consumption from... Fast inserter to stack inserter. Considering it's going to be idle nearly all the time, I don't really want to change that. Inserting HTML does not work, indeed. It should be a patch last time it happened because Twitch changed something in Streamlabs. 
was not on the change, so it should be patchable. Okay, cool. So I, I guess I just wait for it to be fixed. Um, why don't we hurry it up with the water testing here? Uh, water exactly 90%. speed it up. Alright, we are just about there, I think. Yeah, the light keeps going red. Right, do that. Shift plus numpad plus or minus. I can't do that from here, can I? Nope. Alright, let's try turning this thing on. And heat go burr very, very quickly. So we're at 24k in all of these. Interesting that the heat exchangers are all completely full with 2k, even though the water outside of them is 90%. I guess it sucks water in. No? If that were the case, there wouldn't be water here. Alright, we are at 4700 degrees, and steam. That looks kind of wild. This is normal game speed, right? It's almost ep epilepsy warning kind of stuff. Alright, we need a load now. To test. Beam injector. And so far so good. But that's what it looked like before. Uh, the water level here dropped pretty quickly. Maybe... Maybe I shouldn't try to keep this mostly full. Low temperature. Alright, it's still warming up. Hold on. Why are we not... Oh, because we've got more steam here. Okay, cool. Let's change the condition on these. If the steam can get consumed that quickly... Then let's say that steam has to be mostly full before we won't put any more fuel in. Skrivsky, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You are playing pure space exploration? Uh, mostly. Uh, pure space exploration plus some quality of life stuff and LTN, basically. Things like FNEI, uh, module inserter, factory planner, calculator, uh, none of that like, affects the actual production chain or anything like that. Okay. Now maximum production keeps 
fluctuating. Oh, that was a little dip. That's interesting. Look at the graph. 10 gigawatts, dip, big dip. 10 gigawatts, little dip. 10 gigawatts, tiny dip. I don't suppose it's... I don't think it's creeping towards working perfectly. Hmm... Should we... I think we can probably stop at something like 20k for each water tank. I guess LTN might count as a major mod, but no other overhaul. Yeah, LTN's kind of a big deal. I don't understand where these little dips are coming from. Oh, that actually... That wasn't because I reduced the water level, was it? No, this... The water to steam is working all the time. I think it's... Uh, I think it's something like the 500 degree steam. Yeah, 500 degree steam here should be empty all the time, but it's not. I guess it's because each quarter isn't necessarily running its high temperature turbine generators at the same speed. So if that's the case... Hmm. Max steam, 500 degree output, 215 times 3. 645... 80... is... 8. Just over 8 condenser turp. Wait, did I just miscalculate this? Hold on, let's try again. 215 steam per second times 3. Although, I did assume that these 3 wouldn't be going... We're not actually getting 12 gigawatts out of this. These 3... We're getting like slightly more than 2.5 of these. 215 times, let's say, 2.6 should be 560 steam per second. Okay, even then, seven condenser turbines is cutting it close. Uh, maybe I sh This shouldn't be full. Maybe I should put in eight... Or nine. That's gonna mess up the layout here, but what can you do? Six, seven. And this is going to need to be moved. Just when we think it's working perfectly. There's room here, but all of these are super full. What the... Well, no wonder it works at first. Store the 500 seam in separate tanks, separate tanks and vent from there. 
Um, I mean, I think it's better if we just get rid of it immediately. How do... How did we end up stuffed with water? Oh yeah, I was going to say a while ago, when we had like 2.4k water, when we had like 24,000 per tank earlier, I'm just going to remove this for now. Um, let's delete everything. I want a complete reset of the system. Um, I noticed that when we started with a lot of water here, and then ran it for a little while, we went down to like half a tank on all of these. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking we should actually only aim for like half... for these tanks to be like half full. In which case, maybe it would be better if this looked something like that as well. Do some threes like that. Anyway, let's say we half fill this storage tank before we start. Australian PM Anthony Albanese visited Ukraine, indeed. Uh, let's say exactly 50%. same condition. Oh, I just realized if we're not directly... Well, this this tank is closer than this tank, so... Uh, let's go with this. Water... less than... 12,000? And like so. Now I want Burger King? Okay. That's our water. Uh, that's our heat. Yeah, because I noticed earlier we had lots of water in these tanks. And then when it all got sucked in here, we ended up with significantly less. But maybe we should never have... Like, because we put more and more water in, uh, maybe we went further than we should have in terms of taking up room for the fluids to cycle. The only reason I have lots of water in here is if we need it to make sure that these um, get enough fluid to work. But considering what we've seen, I don't think we need to do that. Alright, so heat, go burr. Steam, go burr. Uh, test load. Go burn. And once again, at first we get a perfect 10 gigawatts. Plus a little bit. Now, 
Okay, so this time we're seeing the 500 degree steam is not accumulating. Oh, maybe... Wait. Okay, why is it empty on this side? If it's full on this side. Maybe I should just add underground pipes over... Oh, wait, this is... I am a derp. Okay. Uh, it might still be a good idea to pump that through there, but I kind of forgot... I kind of forgot what we were doing here. So that goes there. That means we're going to have to restart again. Well, if it works perfectly, we probably don't need to restart to test it. If this uh, water icon is flickering, we know that this is empty a lot of the time. Steam is looking okay. Uh, it's still pretty weird how empty the steam is on the left and how full it is on the right. I think I will actually connect these across. That seems to help for some reason. So we're gonna do that over here as well. could definitely be a three. In fact, it should be. All right. Uh, even with all that mucking about, we've actually got a perfectly flat graph up here. That's looking really good. I don't think we can do 11 gigawatts. Oh. Can we actually do 12? I don't... No, it thinks we can do 12 because it's got 12 of these um, high temp turbine generators. But we don't have enough uh, high temp heat exchangers to support that. So I'm pretty sure even 11 gigawatts is gonna... Then again, depending on how much power we're getting from the condenser turbines... It's kind of hard to say, because... Let's say we get, like... Let's say we're getting half. Let's be really pessimistic. Um, let's say 2.5 gigawatts per... times 36. That would be another 90 megawatts. So yeah, um... Well, that's not another gigawatt. Either something is wrong with my math, or this cannot last. But it does seem to be working. Revan, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well, actually. I'm seeing zero water, effectively, in the output results.
And that is a pretty neat looking reactor, even if I say so. Let's update the blueprint. It looks even better than the last iteration. I'm pretty happy with that. Wait, why do we have... Spare one of these. Alright, I guess we'll probably implement that next time. Let's find someone to raid, shall we? Oh, I've gone 20 minutes over. It felt like two minutes. Lexi Lambda. Tumbling. I've rated tumbling like 10 times lately. I rate mucky a lot as well, actually. Not as much in the last little while, but still. Well, let's give this person a go. I think LTN gets messed up with stations with the same name. Uh, no, it's, uh, LTN has temporary stops that it adds to schedules to get around exactly that. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Uh, Intertooth, oh, Inter? I don't see Inter. Oh, I was playing something else? Yeah, we'll drop in on someone doing Factorio today. Take care, Daniel. Thanks for hanging out. Captain of Industry. Okay, fair enough. Take care, Silent. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And, uh... Stay safe. See you, Veldek. And away we go. It's technically covered by this beacon. Hello. Beginning things are interesting.